This video covers the instructions on how to set up the routing feature on the Tsunami MP and QB units. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and cover the um, routing on the Tsunami Quick Bridge and uh, multipoint radios. Um, I'm going to show a quick diagram here, uh, topology of uh, how we're going to set up our radios and basically um, how the configuration works. Okay, um, so don't uh, necessarily mind the way that I have my IP schemes. Okay, uh, you could do whatever you want, obviously, but just kind of follow through here. So the radios themselves are actually going to have um, two sets of IPs. Okay, uh, depending on if you have the um, 8000 series, uh, you'll have two Ethernet ports in the wireless, so you'll have the ability to have three sets of IPs. Um, in my case, I'm just doing two. Okay, so let's just kind of go up from uh, from the server all the way up to uh, to the clients on the opposite side. Okay, so our server we just have a 192.168.1.24 uh, bit mask. Okay, connected. So the Ethernet port IP address is going to be dot one dot one eighteen twenty four bit mask, and then the gateway, of course, is going to be pointing towards the server. Okay. Now the wireless IP addresses, okay, those have to match. They could be whatever you want. Uh, they don't necessarily have to be uh, routable. Uh, they could be a one nine two one seventy eight. It, it it does not matter. This is just actually strictly between uh, the two radios, but they do have to be in the same. Uh, IP scheme. So in my case, I have uh, 10.0.0.1 on endpoint A, 10.0.0.2 on endpoint B. Okay. Now coming across on the Ethernet port of endpoint B, we have uh, 192.168.1.1, 24-bit mask. Now the gateway, okay, the gateway is going to be pointing towards the wireless IP address of the A radio. Okay. Um, now with all of this, um, Highly recommend that you enable RIP version 2, okay, um, unless you actually want to go and build the, the routing tables. RIP 2 works just fine. Okay, so this is uh, the topology we're going to follow, and uh, let's go ahead and jump into the um, configuration of both endpoint A and B, and this uh, applies um, the same to the uh, Tsunami multipoint radios as well. So let's go ahead and go over the configuration of how to set up routing. So what I have here is a base station and a satellite radio, okay, SU and then BSU. So to configure routing, uh, you're going to click on Advanced Configuration System and go look for Network Mode. Now by default, it's in Bridge. You select Routing, click OK and Commit. It's going to ask you to reboot. Um, just cancel out of that, okay. Once that's done, go ahead and click on uh, excuse me, network IP configuration. So, um, as mentioned, because this is an 8000 series, an 8200 radio, we have two Ethernet ports, so we're going to have two IP addresses. Okay, here is my uh, 192.168.1.118. Okay, um, I'm leaving this at, at defaults, okay, because we're not using the second Ethernet port. And here is going to be my wireless IP address. Okay, and here is my gateway. Okay, once that all done, go ahead and click OK and commit and then reboot. Uh, the reason why is for RIP to, uh, for the RIP feature to pop up, it needs to be uh, rebooted. Okay, so this is the base station. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the subscriber. And the subscriber, okay, here is my Ethernet port. Uh, 172.168.1.1, okay, 24-bit mask, it's again the uh, second Ethernet port's not being used. Here's my wireless port, remember that the uh, base station was 10.0.0.1 and 10.0.0.2, and my gateway is 10.0.0.1, it's pointing towards the, uh, towards the base station, okay. Once again, once that's set up, go ahead and click OK and commit and reboot. Now, once the radios are rebooted, go ahead and go back into each ray, and you can do the same thing in between your base station and uh, satellite, your endpoint A, B. Go ahead and click RIP. Now, by default, all of these, the status is disabled. Okay, so all you really need to do is pull down, select Enable, 
on Ethernet 1 and enabled for wireless phone. If you're using Ethernet 2, then go ahead and do the exact same thing. By default, it's going to be set to uh, V2 in the direction you want it both for uh, transmit and receive. Go ahead and click OK and commit. This does not require a reboot. Okay. After that's done, um, you are basically it. You just got to give it time. It's going to go out and learn uh, the routes. But in this case, we could look, look on the um, RIP database and we'll be able to see basically our IP address schemes, okay, uh, what the next hop is, and so on. Um, that is basically the configuration for um, routing. It's um, in a way, it's fairly simple. But once again, definitely make sure that you have. Uh, RIP v2 enable. If not, then you're going to end up um, using the static table. Okay. And uh, for that, you're going to have to go in, uh, put in the destination mask, next hop metric, and so on all by yourself. Uh, definitely uh, highly recommend to use uh, RIP v2. To learn more about Proxim Wireless and our solutions, please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim.